Hey loves! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you what is in my iPhone X. So I recently got my phone, um, if I'm not mistaken, three weeks ago. So right before um, the last day in school, before we had summer vacation. So um, I came from iPhone 7 Plus. And to be honest, I did not see much. I did not see much difference between the two. The only ones that I noted there, um, face ID recognition, and an emoji, and the portrait uh, feature of the camera. Those are the only three things, major things that I discovered that are different from the iPhone 7 Plus. So. Let me start off with um, showing you guys what's, what applications I use um, and what, are, what applications are on my phone. Okay, so let's start off with um, my wallpaper. So my wallpaper says, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? This is a Kate Spade quotation inspired. So I just like how it looks, the colors, plus the message of the code. So I got it as my um, wallpaper. So if you see guys on the first um, page, how do you say that? First page of the phone. Um, you would see major things like calendar, calculator, miscellaneous folder, miscellaneous or extras folder, settings, app store, camera, and photos. So inside my miscellaneous folder, you would see these uh, applications that I do not really use. So these are those unused applications, but I cannot delete. These are, if I'm not mistaken, preset in in an iPhone. So there, in my extras folder, I have um, these applications that are also useful. Most of them are useful to me. Some are not. The useful ones are the voice the memos, the, the iTunes Store, the videos. Actually, not the videos. FaceTime and clock. So there. And then, of course, the settings, the app store, the camera, and the photos. So, of course, I have these photos. And next, before I move on to the next page, I'd like to tell you guys that the four applications at the bottom of the page would be my most important ones. So, these are the messages, the safari, calls, and mail. Okay, so, of course, these are... Um, the top four important applications for me in a phone. So ever since I used iPhone, um, I have been doing this already, except for the iPad because in an iPad, if I'm not mistaken, you can put like five to six um, icons at the bottom. So in an iPhone, of course, you can only put four. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if you can put more. But what I do is just put these four most important apps. So next page, I have these folders. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven folders. So each of the folder has um, the apps that I use. So let's start off with the social. So when I say social folder, this includes my Viber, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Messenger. So I will not... Um, explain to you guys each of the apps because I know that you are familiar with them so let's move on to the next folder and I call this folder entertainment because it has YouTube iFlix Farmville 2 oh my gosh so this is the only game that I have let me just show you how it looks so there it's just the normal Farmville if you would remember um, the Farmville in uh, Facebook so this is pretty much the same thing and I also have um, just dance now it's because if I am too lazy to turn on the PS4 
and I want to exercise, I want to dance, I would normally just use my phone and connect it to our television. And you know, there you go. And then I also have, of course, Netflix, of course, of course, of course. Um, this is a must for you guys, especially if you are on a vacation and you really want to spend time catching up with your favorite TV series and your favorite movies. This is the best way to, you know, to catch up. Next one, I have this Mule or Sing. If um, you're going to ask me, I am a frustrated singer. No, just kidding. I would normally want to sing um, every time I feel like it. So, and I love going to karaoke bars as well with my family. That's one way of distressing for us, for me. So there. And I also have Spinner and Spotify. Most of you guys would know what Spinner is and what Spotify is. So these are apps that will save your most favorite music or um, songs. And iFlix, by the way, is pretty much the same thing with Netflix. iFlix is just a mixture of, or a combination of local and foreign TV series and movies. There. My next folder would be my financial folder because here I store my BPI, BDO, my security bank, and my AUB. So these are my bank accounts and my credit card accounts. For this one, coins, so this is just something that my husband asked me to download because if I download, he will get some reward points or reward points. So there. But I'm not using it. I don't know what it is. He just asked me to download it for him to get those reward coins or reward points. So moving on, for this one, that is called Files. Um, what's in here is that um, iCloud Drive. So whatever I placed in the desktop folder will be accessible to my MacBook and vice versa. Whatever, whatever I place in my MacBook, I can also access it here in my um in my phone so there and the next folder i have the productivity i call it productivity because i have here my two scanner apps the first one is free and the first one is a pro i bought the the app for me to get an unlimited scanning um uh scanning entries and then i also have the share it I also have XE currency. This is a must, especially when you travel abroad because it will give you um, an accurate, not really accurate, but um, mostly, or if I'm not mistaken, like 95% accurate um, currency exchange rate. So this is a must for us because my family and I love to travel. So um, if we are in a specific country and we want to, you know, to convert, we would want to know how much it is in their currency, then I have this handy. And of course, I have Grab. Okay, and I also have my iUSB Pro. If I'm not mistaken, I have shown you guys a USB flash drive that is for for iPhone, for MacBook, and for iPad. So with those, with that thing in me, I can access my files saved there from my MacBook and then um, vice versa. I also have Waze, of course. Um, there are times, I, to be honest, I'm not the type of person who would always rely on Waze when I drive because for me, I'm more of like remembering um, directions um, or asking someone what the direction is and then I would base my um, my search on it so I rarely use this ways but there are times when I couldn't find someone to answer my question about you know the best way to get there to a specific place then I would turn on my ways but if not I wouldn't really use this I hate because when I drive, I hate um, looking at my phone. 
um, it's as if I couldn't focus more on driving so I wouldn't want to use my phone whenever I drive so that's why I do not really use Waze that much and the last one on this folder would be my secret free and this is um, from Starbucks it's called secret menu it's because um, you can find secret drinks here like for example let's see um, banana split um, how to order so you will just show the menu or the uh, the ingredients to a bartender in Starbucks and they will do it for you but these things are not being um, shown in their menu in their shops um, that's why it is secret menu so you just need to tell them or to show them the ingredients and they will do it for you I have tried the the butter beer this one I have this is the first one that I tried and I showed um, the bartender I showed him the ingredients and then he made it for me so that's why I always keep this handy and next one would be my folder called photography with the word itself you would already know that this is all about pictures videos editing uh, my photos and my videos so there for blur it blurs out uh, parts of a photo that you would want to blur and iMovie is iMovie and Vaunt these are the two apps that I use to edit or to make to create my intro and my YouTube channel and PixArt is what I use to edit my photos for my thumbnail in my YouTube videos and then camera connect is what I use to connect my camera to my phones because sometimes um, I use my camera my DSLR camera to to take a picture of something and then because it has of course good quality it gives good quality pictures so um, from there I can transfer it to my phone so I can post it to any of my social media accounts so that's how um, easy it is to have this application okay and last but not the least I have online purchase folder so here I have eBay I have carousel I have Shopee I have Zalora I have Sephora I have honest Bee. now honest Bee is a grocery online grocery shopping app because even if the grocery store is near our place there are times that I wouldn't want to go out because of the weather or something like that or because I don't I really need to finish something so I would just use this app to order grocery items and then these gro gro these grocery items would be delivered right to my doorstep I can pay COD or cash on delivery and I can also pay via credit card this is very convenient and all the things that I need are are available so normally Robinson's department Robinson supermarket is what um, honest Bee is using to deliver my goods so so if you see there so there um, fresh meat fresh seafood fresh fruits fresh vegetables it has price and it has um, the amount or the weight of the item like for example healthy you organic tomato it says here one pack so one pack is 45 pesos so you just need to hit add to cart to add it to your cart of course and that's it if you want um, Robina Farms fresh egg in large size and that's 80 pesos that's 12 pieces per tray and then just hit add to cart and it's ready for you to to buy to purchase so that's how I love this application so much all right so next um, app would be Air Asia Big Loyalty um, when we travel abroad we would normally um, use Air Asia, Cebu Pacific, or Philippine Airlines. So um, this one has points, so I had to download it. 
and I also have Lazada who wouldn't have Lazada on their phones right and I also have Food Panda because there are fast food chains that um, do not have um, what do you call that delivery hotline so what I do is I order from Food Panda let's say for example let's see So there's Jollibee um, near my place. I can order from Jollibee Pasig, Max's Corner Bakery Pasig, Bonchon Acropolis, Chow King Pasig, Greenwich, Red Ribbon, Max's, Pancake House, Papa John's Pizza, Shooks to Go, and all those stuff. So there. And I also have Airbnb. Of course, when. Um, when we go to when we travel abroad this is also helpful same with booking.com this is also what we use when we book our hotels if we travel abroad so either is um, is okay for us um, we have used Airbnb twice and we have used booking.com four times and both are doing excellent when it comes to you know when it comes to booking your hotels or your your places when we go to a different country so there you go I think that's it and I am not a very complicated person when it comes to applications in in a phone I only download what I need and I only use what I need so of course except for those ones that are preset by Apple that you cannot really um, delete so there you go um, this is by the way 64 gigabytes and this is in silver if I'm not mistaken um, let me see yeah I think this is in silver silver great so I'm not sure All right, so um, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Please um, comment if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please comment them in the comment section. And there you go. I hope you're all having a great time. I hope to see you in my next video. You have a good one, guys. Bye.